Adobe shares taking a very hard hit. You can see $20 billion in cash and stock. A significant competitive threat to Adobe. The deal is really all about the top line. Let's talk Figma and why it's worth $20 billion. I am literally speechless. Yeah, well, apparently Adobe bought Figma for $20 billion. Yeah. That's pretty crazy. According to Dylan Field, the CEO and co-founder of Figma, Figma has entered into an agreement to be acquired by Adobe. This has been in the works over the past few months and I'm so excited to finally share this news with the world. So before we dive into what it means, what the hell is Figma and why the hell does it worth $20 billion and me sharing my thoughts as a product designer that uses Figma every single day, let's go back to the beginning. It is the next big thing. One site that's gaining enormous popularity is YouTube. This is Chad and Steve, we're the co-founders. Amazon.com released its portable reader called Kindle. On this Monday. is a day I've been looking forward to for two and a half years. Until the late 2000s, the main software product designers, web designers, and UX designers used to design user interface was Adobe Photoshop. I was one of them. I mean, yeah, sure, there are other softwares like Axure RP, for example, but it was mainly for prototyping and not so much for graphic user interface. Anyway, it's not like I loved using Photoshop. It wasn't the best tool for user interface design or web design, and definitely not for developers. Photoshop was made and created for photos manipulation and graphic design, but for product designers, that was the best tool available. I mean, the whole concept of mobile design was only beginning to take off three years earlier when the first iPhone was released. We are calling it iPhone. So yeah, using Photoshop was a good choice. But in 2010, something special happened. Sketch came out. At the time, Sketch was a groundbreaking application for product and user experience designers. It is primarily used for user interface and user experience design, making the design process so much faster, easier, and frankly, more professional, a tool that was made from the ground up specifically for UX UI designers. But it wasn't perfect. One of the biggest problems with Sketch up until this day is that it only works on Mac computers, making it not accessible for PC designers across the world. Nevertheless, Sketch ruled the product design industry for six straight years. More and more product designers, UX designers, and developers stopped using Adobe Photoshop and moved on to Sketch. But on March 14, 2016, Adobe came out with the answer, releasing Adobe XD, the Adobe version for UX UI designers. And just a few months later, on September 27, Figma released their first version. That marked the beginning of the golden age of product design tools. Those three companies were in the top race for us designers' attention, constantly coming out with new features, and even I made a video comparing the two. What do you mean I stole from you? You stole auto-animate, auto-layout. Dude, you don't even have dark mode. Hey guys, sorry I'm late. What are we talking about? Always late. But at the beginning, there were clear differences between all three. If you loved symbols and design systems, Sketch was for you. If you already had an Adobe account and you wanted integration with other Adobe softwares like Photoshop or Illustrator, then XD was for you. If you worked on a team and collaboration was your number one priority, then Figma was your best choice. In time, those gaps between all three shrunk down. But in 2020, something happened. A SARS-like virus, which has infected the latest on the coronavirus and the virus, will spread here. And that Americans need to continue. The breaking news, stay at home, that is the order. So, yeah, in the beginning of 2020, the pandemic happened. More and more people started working from home and designers were no exception. So freelancers and companies had to find a solution and that is where they turned to Figma. Like I said, Figma was already a collaboration web application for interface design. It was extremely easy for designers, developers, product teams and their clients to keep working together from home without missing a beat. That really pushed Figma ahead of the competition and combining that with releasing groundbreaking features one after the other like auto layout, components, smart animate and the power of Figma community made Figma the new king on the block. Which brings us to today, a $20 billion company. Your Majesty. So what does it all mean? 
Well, according to Dylan Field, and I quote, There is a huge opportunity for us to accelerate the growth and innovation of the Figma platform with access to Adobe's technology, expertise, and resources in the creative space. For example, we will have the opportunity to incorporate their expertise in imaging, photography, illustration, video, 3D, and font technology to the Figma platform. To be honest, at the end, I still don't know what I think about those statements. What I love about Figma is that they're always put designers first, making a design software that is amazing, accessible, and easy for all types of designers. Their advanced features like Auto Layout, Components, Smart Animate are no exception to other tools, but in my opinion, they just work the best. So, now what? Will it be a part of Adobe Cloud? I mean, my biggest fear is that Adobe will slowly kill Figma, or they will suck the life of what makes Figma great. You are the chosen one. On the other hand, we might get the best of both worlds. Maybe now we can get access to 3D design, advanced illustrations, and embedded video features directly in Figma, which could be very exciting. I guess we'll have to wait and see. But this is another reminder that at the end, those are just tools, and it's up to us designers to learn new skills and new tools every day to become better designers. I always say that if you know how one tool works, learning a new one is pretty easy. As for us, don't worry, it doesn't change the agenda of this channel. We are here to become better designers and we will always use the best tools out there and hopefully Figma will continue to grow. Okay, I'm really curious to hear what you guys think. Please let me know in the comments, subscribe if you haven't already, make sure you follow my design work on Instagram. Thank you for watching and as always, I'll see you in the next video. Love you guys. Catch you in the next one.